This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, King Von Taker to the O streams a hundred million times. And that's good because his family gets that revenue right there. I mean, he's not here to make... This guy was about to... Where, where, where little Dirk was, I saw King Von. Because he just had that... He just had a special thing about him. Like, he had a lot of talent. I thought he could rap better than little Dirk. So, uh, yeah, congratulations to him and his family. Uh, Peter Rosenberg shares a time when Jim Jones checked him. Uh, Jim Jones came for his head top, wanted to put paws on him. So, uh... Roseberg has an album coming out, so he's sharing a lot of these types of stories for promotion. And uh, Jim Jones was kind of crazy back in the day, even more so, because uh, I remember he was chasing uh, a lot of people down. Uh, Rosenberg said that his music was trash. Well, Jim Jones took that personally, and he's not going to let someone disrespect him, especially in New York. Paul Rose, Peter, Peter. Rosenberg, I'm sorry, was uh, new to New York radio. And, uh, you know, he called up there looking for him and he said, I got scared straight. And it's good that happened that way because uh, it could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. Jim Jones, if you ran into Jim Jones in a club or something, something could happen. I, I, I remember him chasing everybody down. Uh, he tried to he tried to check everybody. He even tried to check me once with the Max B thing, but I I met up with him and it wasn't a big deal because I told him, hey man, <laughs> that's between you and Max. If Max says something and you say something back, I'm just uh, I'm just the video guy, man. You know, like even though I got love for Max, it's like Max was cool. He's like whatever, whatever. You know, like Jim's gonna say what he says, and I'm gonna say what I say. Just give me a platform and whatever. So it was all good. Um, Nicki Minaj, well, she didn't really check Michael B. Jordan. People were overreacting. He, she educated him on what that liquor name meant to Trinidad and the Caribbean, and uh, she used her platform and her connection to Michael B. Jordan to communicate that to him. And he heard it, and he's changing it. But people are coming after Nikki, saying she disrespected Malcolm X and all these, you know, Rosa Parks and everybody. It's like, listen, you you can't keep bringing up everything someone did because they tried it, and she did it really nicely. I'm not, I'm not even trying to like cap for her or anything. It's just like she did. She was very nice about it. She said Michael B. Jordan didn't mean any disrespect. He just didn't know, and I'm gonna educate him on that. And she did. And you know what? People were mad about that. I, I don't understand, man. Uh, people just, I don't know, man. It's crazy. But anyways, um, that's all the news that's going on. I'm sorry I'm driving today, so that's why uh, you're getting these news updates sporadically. Uh, I'm almost back home. So anyways, this is Jordan Tatt with JT News. I appreciate you guys, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll check you guys in about two or three hours. Appreciate you. Peace.